Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, let's see how do we calculate the size of underground water tank for a capacity of 1 lakh litre and along with that, let's see what is the cost of construction for 1 lakh litre capacity of water tank. So without delay, let's start now. Before starting the calculation, let's see what are all the components of water tank. Base slab, side wall, top slab, manhole, vent and drain pipe. These are all the major components of water tank which we use. Underground water tank can be constructed using brickwork, brickwork or blockwork with RCC or only with RCC. When you do with only brickwork, you have to be very careful. You have to use double layer of brick along with proper waterproofing. If you don't do proper waterproofing, then you may get leakages. And always it is recommended to go with brick or blockwork with RCC or RCC water tank. Now, let's see how do we find out the size of the water tank. This is the length, this one is breadth and this is the depth of the water tank. So, inner dimensions we need to find out so that we can come to know how much capacity of water it can hold. So, the overall capacity of the water tank we need is 1 lakh litre. So whatever the size we are going to calculate that has to hold the water of 1 lakh litre capacity. We know that 1 cubic feet can hold 28.3 litres of water. That means if you take a uh, 1 cubic feet size of uh, a tank like this 1, 1 feet 1 feet 1 feet that can hold 28.3 litres of water. So we need 1 lakh litres. 1 lakh litre divided by 28.3 litres which gives 3000 1533.56 cubic feet. So this much volume we require to hold 1 lakh liter of water. We know the volume of the tank is 3533.56 cubic feet. Now we have to assume the depth. So it depends like if the area of the water tank like where we are going to construct the water tank that area is broader or narrow however it is there so depending on that we can choose the dimensions if the area area is wider then we can take length more and then we can choose the size accordingly so here i am going to assume the depth as 5 feet so we know the depth and volume so from that we can calculate the area. Area is equal to volume divided by depth. So volume we know 3533.56 divided by depth is 5 feet. So we get area as 706.71 square feet. So from this we need to find out the length and breadth. Let's consider the area that is L into B is equal to 706.71 square feet. Let's consider L is equal to 2B. So this we can apply here. So instead of L we can put 2B multiplied by B which is equal to this area so we get b as 19 feet so the length we don't know we didn't calculate it so breadth we know that is 19 feet and depth we know that is 5 feet we know the breadth as 19 feet so that we apply in that l is equal to 2b so we get length as 38 feet so we know now length is 38 feet breadth is 19 feet and depth is 5 feet volume is 3610 cft we know one cft can hold 28.3 liters of water then we can find out this volume hold how much liters of water so that can hold up to 1,2163 liters actually our required capacity was 1 lakh liters only so according to the dimensions whatever we have calculated that can hold up to 1,2163 liters of water now let's calculate the outer dimension of the water tank let the wall thickness be 8 inches side walls we know the inner length of the water tank was 38 feet so along with that we need to add 8 inch plus 8 inch so totally it will come around 39 feet 6 inches and breadth is 19 feet plus 8 inch plus 8 inch which is equal to 20 feet 6 inches so base slab this is the base slab thickness of base slab is 12 inches and top slab is 8 inches so we need to add these two along with the depth so depth was 5 feet plus 12 inches plus 8 inches it comes around 6 feet 8 inches so these are all the outer dimensions of the water tank next coming to the most awaited part which is cost of construction we know the capacity of tank is 1 lakh 2163 liters so cost of construction is rupees 18 per liter so this may vary up to 18 to 20 rupees per liter according to your place material cost labor cost and depend on it depends on everything so i took 18 rupees per liter this cost of construction includes base slab side walls top slab waterproofing manhole and uh, whatever 
द मेटीरियल आर रिक्वेड प्लस लेबर चार्ज एवरी थिंग इंक्लूडिंग इट कास्ट अरउंड एटीन रुपीज पर लीटर सो ऑलवेज द क्लाइंट विल पे यू फॉर द इनर कैपासिटी सो दट वाई वी हेव कॉलेटेड द इनर डायमेंशन सो दट कैपासिटी इज वन लैक टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थ्री लीटर फॉर दिस कैपासिटी ओनली क्लाइंट विल पे यू सो पर लीटर इट इज एटीन रुपीज कास्टिंग अरउंड एटीन रुपीज सो इफ यू कालकुलेट द टोटल कास्ट कम्स अरउंड एटीन लैक्स थर्टी एट थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर रुपीज सो टू कंस्ट्रक्ट वन लैक टू थाउजेंड लीटर्स कैपासिटी ऑफ अंडरग्राउंड वाटर टैंक यू हैव टू स्पेंड अराउंड एटीन लैक थर्टी एट Let's look into the structural drawing of one lakh liter capacity underground water tank. This is the sump tank top slab plan with reinforcement details, and uh, this one is the sump tank bottom slab detail. Let's look into the section B B. So here we have two side walls, and this is the base slab. This is the top slab. These side walls has to be designed to carry the earth pressure as well as water water pressure. So here is the manhole. and this one is silt pit and here the capacity is written treated water sump or raw water sump capacity 120 cubic meter this is given in uh, cubic meter we first we need to convert this cubic meter into cubic feet 120 multiplied by 35.28 which is equal to 4233.6 cft so we know per cft it is 28.3 liters 4233.6 multiplied by 28.3 which is equal to 119810 liters so this is the capacity of this water tank this is the free board level usually we have to provide 10 inches to 12 inches here 18 inches is provided so this is the distance between bottom of the top slab to the top of the water level so why we need to provide this space one is for safety reason if any person is inside the water during maintenance and the cover is closed then he can survive by keeping his head in the space between this uh, bottom of the top slab and top of the water level. Level, by using this space he can survive without any trouble next reason is there shall be always fresh air between this space so this will help to oxidize if any impurity is present in the water and the next reason is this space is preventing the water from touching the top top slab bottom of the top slab so friends i hope you all like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends and your comments are always welcome please do comment in the comment box and if you want more videos like this please do comment in the comment box i'll try to upload the same thank you for watching